Two bugs have been getting a lot of attention lately here in Tippecanoe County. Mosquitoes and the spotted lanternfly. Star City's Astro Books Band spoke with experts about what we need to know about the problem insects. First, the latest problem with mosquitoes. The Tippecanoe Health Department reports three mosquito groups in the county have tested positive for the West Nile virus. While it is not a major health hazard, environmentalist Nicholas Davis has some advice on how to stay safe. Prevent being out at dusk and dawn if possible. Wear protective clothing, uh, bug repellent containing DEET. The second bug problem is the spotted lanternfly. The invasive species is also not a public health hazard, but can cause some big problems for plants in the area. It poses a potentially major threat to um, the wine grape industry, also the, the tree fruit industry, um, although maybe not to as, as great an extent as the grapevines, um, and also um, tree nuts, so the walnut industry and other nursery and landscape trees as well. The spotted lanternfly feeds on over a hundred plants, including woody trees. Those trees and plants are most at risk because the bugs can suck them dry. And they basically have these needle-like uh, piercing sucking mouth parts, so they stab that into the plant and they sip the sap. Um, that's how they make their living. And so um, you kind of think about us as people getting bit by mosquitoes, one or two mosquitoes, no big deal, even though they're annoying and very itchy. But these insects tend to feed in really large groups, especially the adults. Long says the best thing we can do is be aware of what the spotted lanternfly looks like. So critical if you know what it looks like. Um, the egg masses, which I mentioned, are very challenging to, they're so well camouflaged, it may be easy to miss them. So by looking at some pictures and what it looks like on like stone, for example, then you'll know like, okay, this doesn't look right. Um, the same for the immature stages, which are small, they crawl, they kind of look like stink bugs. Um, they cannot fly. And then there's the adult, which is the most visible. Um, the females are about an inch long from head to head to tail. And um, they're pretty colorful. If you see a spotted lanternfly, Bong advises not to move it or put it in a container, but instead take a picture, note the location, and report it to 1-866-NO-EXOTIC. That's 1-866-663-9684. Asher Booksman, Star City News, Lafayette.